welcome back to this seven day challenge. You are on day three, which is fantastic. It means that you have made it this far. I think you're gonna go all the way. I'm so proud of you. Today, we are again doing a 30 minute flow. So join me right away. Come on down to your mat, get yourself into a seated comfortable position. Sometimes placing a block underneath your sits bones is nice to begin. If you don't have a block, don't worry about it. Just come to a seated position, close down your eyes, and we'll begin with a few deep breaths as we normally do. In through the nose and out through the nose. Just allowing these first few moments to be a time to get clear. To get clear and essential about what you want to feel and how you're going to create that for yourself. And you can wish and want to feel a certain way, but if you don't put action forth or make changes towards that goal, nothing really changes. What is it that you need to feel in your body, feel in your day? And can you cultivate that actively focusing on that intention? Take one deep breath in together through the nose. Let the ribs expand, let your spine grow tall. Feel your whole upper brain centers flood with oxygen. And big sigh at the mouth. <sighs> let everything go, let the shoulders drop. And blink your eyes open. Let's begin our practice. Meet me in a tabletop position, please. Bringing your hands right underneath your shoulders, spread your hands nice and wide and let your knees come below your hip points. We'll begin with some cat cows, so dropping the belly. Pulling the heart forward, remember that necklace. Imagine you've got a necklace that's brand new, you wanna show it off. And then exhaling, rounding out through the tailbone, pressing the ground away, feeling those shoulder blades slide to the sides of your body. And then we'll do it again. This time add in a little tug through the heel of your hands back towards your knees as you look up. And then exhaling again, press, press, let the head go. You can close your eyes here. You can even add in some side to side movement, letting your whole body wake up. Big inhale here, last one. Exhale to round, round, round. And I'm gonna ask you to walk your knees back a little bit away from your hands and let your chest melt down. You might need to walk your fingers forward into a puppy pose. So the tailbone is still reaching up high to the sky, fingertips are reaching forward. If it suits you, if it works, you put your forehead right down onto the mat. Let the armpits stretch down towards the floor. Let the tailbone keep reaching up and back. Take one more big inhale breath. As you exhale, slide your torso forward between your arms and we'll come into a locust pose. So here the shoulders are above the elbows and your forearms are parallel to each other. Press down through the whole length of your forearms, press down through the tops of your feet and just imagine like you're sending a beam of energy right up through the crown of your head. Big reach forward in this locust pose. Excellent, come all the way down. I want you to extend that right arm out towards the right side of your room, parallel to your body. No, not parallel, perpendicular. Using your left hand, let's roll right up onto that right arm, stretching out the shoulder. If this is too much, you be gentle. You don't have to roll all the way back. You don't have to place that left foot behind the right knee. Just be gentle with yourself with just getting going. This practice will be perfect if you do a lot of sitting, come through center. If you do a lot of desk work, we're gonna go right to the second side, extend that left arm, and then roll onto that shoulder, feeling the stretch through the armpit, the shoulder, without forcing or pushing. Just be really gentle as we get warmed up. So much forward folding in our lives, whether we're holding children or working or driving or cooking. So good to open up the front line of the body. Let's come back onto our bellies. 
fingertips underneath shoulders. Let's take a baby cobra. Open the heart. Pull it forward. Breathe in. Child's pose. Press your hips up and back. Sink your heels. No, sink your hips towards your heels. And full exhale. This time, inhale through table. Exhale into your downward facing dog. Take it slow. You don't need to straighten those legs right away. Actually, let's do this. Let's take a deep bend into that left knee and just bend, straightening out the right leg first. Just one leg at a time and we'll switch. Now bend into that right knee with the left heel, sink. Now come through center and lift up onto both tippy toes, high up onto those tippy toes. Spin both heels over towards the right. And I want you to bend into both knees a lot. Press into that left hand. So you're in this like crouching down dog position and you're pressing your hands forward and down. Let's move through center, inhale. And take it to the second side. Same thing, crouching down dog. Press the right hand forward and down so you feel that stretch right down the right side of your body. Ribs open wide, last inhale, come through center. Exhale, sink the heels, beautiful work. Lift the right leg to the sky, bend the knee, stack and open up your body. Big breath in and we'll switch it. Exhale, drop that right foot down and on your inhale breath, sweep the left foot to the sky. Bending at the knee, open through the hips, press, press, press. Last big inhale. With the exhale, bring that foot down as you begin to walk the feet all the way up to the top of your mat. Meet me in a rag doll. Feet are about hip width apart. Grab opposite elbow with opposite hand. And again, bring your attention back into your body. What is it that you're here to feel? to create. Can you tap into that soft, quiet voice, the voice of your heart, so you can hear what it wants, what it needs, what it's yearning for. Honor that. And heel till your feet to touch. Take a half lift. Let the head drop as you fold over the legs and we'll rise. Big sweep up like you're taking energy from the earth. Lift it to the sky. Big inhale. Hands come through heart center. Well done. Let's have a great practice together. Sweep the arms back to the sky. Breathe in. As you exhale, fold forward all the way. We start with a sun A, or maybe a couple, maybe we'll do two. Half lift, lengthen the spine. Hands to the mat, step it to high plank. Hold your high plank, shoulders are over your hands, legs are engaged, breathe in. If you need to drop your knees, you drop your knees. As you exhale, we hover in our chaturanga. See how my shoulders do not go below my elbows. Then upward facing dog, open the heart, press the tops of your feet down, then lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let's do that again. Stay here for an inhale breath. Stay here, pressing the hands forward and down and sinking the heels for the exhale breath. Now lift your heels high. Look forward to where you wanna land and you step or you jump all the way forward. Half lift when you get there, lengthen the spine. Exhale and release. Rise up to stand. Again, like you're gathering energy from the earth. Lift you up. Exhale, bring it through heart center as you fold forward over the legs. Halfway lift, create a long side body. Step it or shoot it to your low push-up. Then up dog, press the ground away, open the heart. Downward facing dog, let everything go. Take a big inhale. Empty out. One more time, inhale through the nose. 
Keep those eyes steady and soft and just exhale everything out until you feel empty. Then lift those heels as you breathe in. Bending the knees like a spring. Maybe you hop, maybe you step up to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, let that go. Chair pose. Bring those big toes to touch. Let there be some space between your heels. Squeeze your legs. Let yourself be reminded that your body is strong and that it's usually, it's usually the mind that takes us out of these uncomfortable or challenging positions. You can modify, you can bring your hands in line with your shoulders. You don't have to go so low, but just challenge yourself. Dance at that edge of where you feel. There's a little bit of a discomfort, but where you know there's some growth. Can you stay for one more big inhale? And then let that go. Excellent work. Half lift, sending the crown of your head far forward, spin the inner thighs back. Hands down, high plank to low push up. And then press the ground away. We move back up into up dog. Downward facing dog, let the hips lift back. Melt your chest towards your thighs. On your inhale, lift the right leg high. On your exhale, bring the right knee to your right tricep. And can you touch? Really good, lift it back up. Find space, length, freedom, fill up. Bring the knee across to the left tricep. Can you touch above the elbow? Really good. Let's lift that back up to the sky. Breathe in. This time, knee to nose and step it forward. We'll take warrior one. Back foot pivots flat and you come up into your warrior one. Allow yourself to land. Take one more big inhale, reaching fingertips up. Spread the fingers wide. Hands down. Maybe float the right toes this time. Just an option. You can also drop your knees. We take chaturanga. Up dog. Big heart opener. Downward facing dog. Exhale out. On your inhale, lift that left leg to the sky. Touch left knee, left tricep. How high up the arm can you touch? Then lift the leg back up to the sky. Across to your right tricep. Feel the engagement through the obliques. Lift up, big inhale breath. You have got this. Knee to nose, hug it in. Really good, step it forward, warrior one. Stay low on the left leg. You want that thigh parallel to the floor. But I also want you to push the pinky edge side of your right foot down. Take one more big inhale to lift the heart high. And exhale. Plant the hands. You decide, are you floating the toes? Are you dropping your knees? You can hold your high plank. We will always meet back in downward facing dog. Take a big inhale when you get there. Be disciplined with your drishti, your gaze. Set it right away. Now we lift the heels, bend the knees, step or float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, empty it out. Really let the head go, look to your navel. And then chair pose, again, big toes touch. Sweeping the arms up by your ears. Tuck the tailbone under, sit a little lower. Take a breath in. As you exhale, squeeze your back body, cactus your arms, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Inhale to reach high with the hands, look up. Exhale, let it go. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Half lift. High to low push up. Option to pump out another push up if you want. Upward facing dog, big heart opener. Downward facing dog, up and back it goes. And right away on the next inhale. Lift the right leg to the sky. Bring the right knee to the right tricep and touch it. Three-legged. Right knee left, tricep, you touch. 
Inhale, three-legged. Knee to nose, and then carefully step that foot forward. You know you always can su support the foot coming forward with your hands. Warrior one, rise. This time on the exhale, warrior two. Really good. Flip and reverse. Breathe in. Stretch out that whole right side body. And then cartwheel your hands to the mat. High to low plank. Listen to your body. Honor what you need. Don't push, don't force. But also notice, big exhale when you get to down dog. Notice if you are resisting. If you're moving from a place of doubt. Or if there's criticism. If there's any kind of dialogue that's taking you out of what's just happening in your body on your mat right now. And we'll sweep that left leg to the sky. Knee to tricep. Exhale. Touch. Again, three-legged. You're doing awesome. Knee to tricep. Cross the body to the right. Inhale. Lift that leg way up high. Knee to nose. Press down to make space and step that left foot between the hands. Warrior one. Rise up. Warrior two, anchor through that back right leg. You're doing so, so well. Flip and reverse, reach way back with that left hand, and then cartwheel your hands to the mat. High plank, low push-up. Take upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Gorgeous work, so proud of you. Please lift that right leg back up to the sky. And then knee to nose as you travel forward into crescent lunge. You're going to keep the left heel right above the left toes. So both hip points face forward. Exhale, arrowhead, sweeping the arms behind you. Palms face down. So you're kind of loading up that right leg. Squeeze the tips of your shoulder blades. But then notice your low ribs. Draw them in as well. So from the crown of your head to your back left heel, you are so, so, so long. Okay, stay exactly as you are. Just sweep the arms alongside your ears if you're able. You're doing so great. Bring the hands together at the center of your chest. We're gonna twist over that right leg. See if you can bring the outside of your left elbow to the outside of that right leg. Keep the legs super strong. They are your foundation. And if it serves you, start to turn your gaze over towards the right. And if it serves you, maybe you open those arms wide like wings. Take another great big breath in. Stay for the exhale, twist it out. Excellent work. And then frame your right foot Step it to a high plank. You hold or you take two push-ups followed by chaturanga. I am so proud of you. Big inhale breath. Sigh it out. <sighs> Downward facing dog. Let's try it on the left side. You've got this. Inhale, lift that leg to the sky. Knee to your nose. Big crunch as you step forward into your crescent lunge. Good, legs are strong. Squeeze the right glute, squeeze the left glute, and then hinge it forward into arrowhead. Fan out the fingers so all the muscles in the arms are engaged. Draw the belly off the thigh. Reach both hands forward, big, big reach. Hands through heart center, and twist on the exhale. Good. Send your elbows broad. This is a balancing pose. There's a lot of strength. There's a lot of toning through the obliques. Maybe open the arms wide. If you need to take rest, you take rest, but learn to take rest and not quit. Come right back. Stay here, big inhale to get long. Last exhale to stay. Look down, plant your hands. Make your way 
to chaturanga with the option of two push-ups in between. Knees are always a great option. Downward facing dog. We're almost there. You can do this. Start to walk your feet all the way up to your hands. And then one bone at a time, I'd like you to roll yourself up to stand. Feel like a jellyfish, hands hanging, head heavy. Let them come up all the way at the very end. Beautiful. Bring your right knee into your chest. Sweep your arms up overhead, extend that leg forward if you're able. We pulse five, four, three, two, really good work. Airplane, keep balancing poses. The magic in the balancing series is that you really gotta stay present. If you're somewhere else, you're gonna be wobbling all over. You're doing great. Big inhale though. As you exhale, come back into stork, bringing that right knee in to your chest as you lift your chest, lift your heart, and we'll go right into tree from here. Bringing that right foot to the inside. I'll turn this way so you can see. So that right foot can either be a kickstand on the floor, and you can bring it into the inside of your calf, or maybe it comes all the way up. You can stay right here, or perhaps you grow your tree. Press down firmly into the floor, and then use the energy ricocheting up that standing leg, strong base, so that you can reach up higher, express out more, take up more space, and then come down. Really good. Shake out the legs. Let's take it on the left side. Bringing that left knee into the chest. Sweeping the arms up alongside ears. Extending that left foot forward if you're able. Pulse five, four, three, two. Airplane pose. Sweeping it back. Try and make sure that all five toes on the left foot are facing down towards the mat. The hip will want to lift up and stack itself on top of the right because that's just easier. I want you to feel this in the muscle. So drive that left heel higher as you reach the crown of your head forward. Look down and then sweep it all the way back up into your stork. For tree, finding the kickstand or Maybe it's a little higher. Amazing. Come on down. Let's just come down onto our knees. And we'll take a camel pose. So you can stand on your knees. You can curl your toes under for a little extra support and place your hands like you're placing them in the pockets of your blue jeans. From here, squeeze the elbows towards one another and just start to walk your gaze up the wall in front of you and across the ceiling. You don't need to go back very far for this heart opener. Just start to feel that energetic shift right away. Keep lifting the heart high. Think up instead of back. Take one more, big inhale, exhale, settling down to your heels for hero's pose. If your bum can touch the ground, then that's great. If you need to place a block underneath your bum or a pillow, then do that and just close your eyes. Let's come onto our bums. Big stretch up with both hands. Reaching for toes or ankles. We'll take a forward fold. Seated forward fold. 
Slowly come up and we'll roll down onto our backs. Keeping both feet on the floor, cross the right ankle over your left knee, reaching through the window for thread the needle. You can close down your eyes, keeping the right foot nice and flexed. Maybe using the back of your right elbow to guide the knee a little bit farther forward away from you. Come on back to center on the switch side. Keeping the left foot flexed, thread the needle. Take these moments, now that we're not moving quite so quickly, we're not moving back and forth and up and down the mat, to notice that soft subtle voice, that heart, that intuition, whatever you want to call it. And allow that voice to get a little bit louder. And what is it saying? What is it? wanting you to remember, wanting you to know. Release that foot. Press that right leg all the way over the left, with eagle legs. And let both knees fall over towards the left side of your mat. Open that right arm. And come back to center. Take the second side. Opening up the left arm as the knees fall right. Gaze goes left. Come back to center. This last little bit of effort will be to wrap your knees into your chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Give yourself such a hug. I am so proud of you. I hope you are proud of yourself for showing up to carve out this time to feel your body. Let's release our bodies down onto the mat for Shavasana. We're only here for a few short moments. Take this resting place. When else in your day will you have the opportunity to lie still for just a few short moments? Please feel free to stay exactly as you are, lying on your back, or if you'd like to move to one side and let your head rest on your arm with a pillow while I read today's meditation, you can move into that position. Today's meditation is called Trust Your Heart. For so long, you relied on your head. Now it's time to make the shift, the great leap into your heart. Are you beginning to see how your head gets in the way? How it creates so much noise, the chatter, the limited vision, the fear. Are you beginning to see how what you've relied on, your intellect, your assessments, and sometimes your logic has complicated life? It isn't the head that sees clearly, nor does the head always see with love. Often it sees with the eyes of fear. The heart sees clearly. It balances the mind and emotions. It takes what's real and processes it into truth then into action. It takes into account all that needs to be done, then draws a map, an itinerary for how to accomplish that. Yes, you say, but my head does that too. And then I don't need to feel. Your heart can do it better because it maps the way in love. Learn to listen to your inner voice. Listen to your heart. It is your connection to God, to people, to the universe, and to yourself. 
Press yourself up into a seated position. And bringing the palms of your hands to touch. Feel those sits bones rooted into the earth, connecting, feeling grounded. And from that place, grow your spine nice and tall. Let your shoulders be broad and proud. Take a deep inhale into your body. And a big sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Bring your thumbs, touch them to your forehead center, your third eye. This is your place of infinite wisdom, your vibrant inner light. And it is from this place in me that I am so very grateful that you shared your practice with me today. Let us bow to one another in acknowledgement and in love as we say, Namaste. Beautiful work. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. I am so proud of you. You did day three. Woo -woo. I'll see you back here. Have a great one.